Good day, folks. My name is Riverlore, and this is Icarus. Um, today we're going to dive right into a new open world playing the uh, Prometheus map set, uh, which was uh, just recently released on August 24th. Um, this is my uh, first attempt at streaming. I am uh, very much hoping uh, that you guys will enjoy it or that somebody will even watch it. <laughs> it's something I've wanted to do for a long time. Um, and then finally my wife kicked me in the rear end hard enough that we're going to go ahead and give it a go. Uh, I Initially I did record a couple of videos with one hour time frames. Um, I'm sure that that's something that I might revisit, but I'm thinking that uh, a half hour episodes are um, probably a little bit better. Uh, people will be able to just pop in and get a quick fix if they want and you know to be perfectly honest um, the, some of the things that uh, YouTube uh, uh, rates you on is full viewership so somebody actually starting one of your videos and completely watching the whole entire thing so obviously if I make it more bite-sized bite -size pieces that people will go ahead and do that so uh, without any further ado let's go ahead and start um, this is something new that they came out with. You can actually boost character to level 20. I hate it when they do it in other games in particular. I remember uh, with EverQuest and World of Warcraft uh, that, uh, you know, they made it so that you could bypass all the work and, you know, join your friends at the higher levels if you join the game. So I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of that, so we're not going to go ahead and do that. You'll also see it says it's recommended the new players start on Olympus. Uh, I am not a new player, uh, and I am very much looking forward to exploring the alien world. So let's go ahead and confirm. We're going to create a new world, and we're going to go ahead and call this Earth 2. I don't know if any of you remember back, but back in the early to mid-90s, they had a short-lived TV series, um, which was, I thought, rather good. Um but that's just aging myself, I get. I guess old like dirt. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and claim that prospect and we're gonna jump right in. I think that I'm gonna start us off down, down here. Uh, I have played around with the new area here. I have zero experience with any of this stuff, uh, but um, uh, maybe we'll discover that stuff together. So let's go ahead and drop. Our good buddy Saul is going to come in and give us some vital information. And I'll try not to interrupt him. Sometimes I have to beat on the in inside of the ship to get it to work properly. Welcome to Prometheus, Prospector. <sighs> This place has only been Damn. accessible to approved scientists and Damn. faction contractors till now. But it looks like the UDA are finally opening it up for the rest of us. And they've actually made our lives easier. Especially yours. You see, Group 15 ran a joint op with Sinitai, shifting an old terraforming satellite hub into a geosynchronous orbit. It means you'll be able to get back to the station whenever you'd like or move gear and resources from orbit to planet and vice versa. So now you can stick it out without worrying about your dropship window. The faction higher-ups didn't do it for your sake, but in the end, I guess there's less of a chance you'll kick it. So, that's a plus. First things first. If you want to complete missions for the UDA, you'll need to craft a short-range radio. Plenty of folks need help. And factions pay well for prospectors that offer their time. Up to you. Stay safe. All right. So for those of you who have played this before, you know what to do. For those of you who haven't, uh, one of the most important things to do when you get into the game is just start collecting everything. Everything that you collect gives you experience points. And when you get experience points, you get talent points and skill points to be able to improve your character, make him stronger, faster, 
better than he was before. <clears throat> rocks are always a good thing when you land if you see rocks because they're not always just laying around. Um, yes. So you start the game with some basics right, in regards to crafting so you can make yourself a stone pickaxe and a stone axe and then like I said as you level you'll be able to build other things. I know I'm going to need to build a stone knife and stone arrows. You'll notice when I was picking up those rocks off of the ground that some of them were blue, some of them were dark. Uh, the blue ones actually um, are what's called oxite, uh, for those of you who don't know. And uh, they're what our suits use to extract oxygen to keep us breathing, so kind of an important thing. You don't start the game off with a bunch of bag space, so I'm going to go ahead and delete or destroy these uh, seeds to start with. Uh, I just don't need them right now, so... <laughs> Nothing that we really have to worry about in the green zone attacking us, to be honest. You know, unless we get near the swamp biomes, things sometimes come out of the other biomes. Um, there is a, a thing, <laughs> I don't really know what to call it, uh, called a drac. Kind of looks like a four-legged hairless bat. Um, and they by themselves aren't that bad, but those little bastards every now and then you're, you'll be fighting one of them and then a second and a third and uh, sometimes I died the other day because a fourth one came. And we, uh, so you have to make sure that you keep your eyes out. Um, tomatoes is something new that they added to the game. We don't need any right now, so we're going to go ahead and just leave them. Don't need them tying up bag space. Let's go over here and get ourselves another oxide node, or a an oxide node. There's several different ways of processing oxide. Right now we're at our absolute lowest and weakest, so we're just going to take it directly. It's incredibly inefficient, um, but later on I'll show you ways it will have to replace it far less often. Stamina is so low when you first start. Alright, let's go ahead and move this over here. Just gonna jump up on this rock while I talk to you for a quick second. Oh, there's a moa. Kind of like an ostrich. Uh, or sorry, an ostrich. Kind of like an ostrich. Um, but they are apparently a species that was from New Zealand originally and went extinct. And of course, the crazy mad scientists here uh, have uh, have brought them back. So we've got a level, which means that we've got talent points and we've got tech points. Talent points are things that help improve us. So for instance, we can increase our maximum stamina. We can increase um, how much we carry. Uh, we can increase our movement speed when we're holding a bow um, we can um, learn how to use a pick better all sorts of different things like that so for myself when i first start off gotta keep an eye on that freaking moa he's coming over here i'm gonna come over here um for myself, when I'm spending my talent points at first, I like to bring them in over here, 
primarily so we can work our way down to health bars. So if that moa right there were hiding in some tall grass or in some dense forest, we would never see him. But what's going to happen is once we get enough points, we'll actually be able to see a health bar above him. So hopefully nothing will surprise us. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to put it right into adding some stamina. We're going to come over to the tech tree and we're going to grab a stone knife, a bow, stone arrows, and bandages to start. You need the knives to be able to collect fur and meat, and you need the bandages to stop yourself from bleeding from certain wounds. Destroy this. Craft. Get us. I actually like to craft two daggers to start with. I'm going to put it down here. These things are so fragile and they break so easily um, that it really is important to have a second one on hand sometimes. Now, I need his fur. All right. Now, each of these had a young one with them. Uh, the young ones won't attack you. You can actually tame them and ride them later on. We're not going to worry about that because we've just started the game. Let's go ahead and grab a stone and sharpen our dagger, or a knife. You'll see it's almost destroyed already. And then let's go ahead and kill these daggers. I have no heart. Prospectors have no heart. rough we're gonna collect as much bone as we can because at fifth level we actually get to make uh, bone arrows instead of stone ones so they do roughly twice the damage and uh, are invaluable because things will get start getting tougher Up. Cut down a tree. Eventually, we're going to need to have a fire. Oh, a whole ring. That's it. Calm down. Yes. So, we need 20 fur to start. So that is absolutely fantastic. I have a basic idea of where I want to go. And we are a ways away from there. So let's, let's put a mark on our map. I want to come down actually right over this way. We 
got to get to the water. You'll notice our water is already running a little bit low. And hopefully things will be... Oh, let's go ahead and repair that. Repair the other one. We have five arrows. Let's see how many we can. Oh yeah, that's critical 17. Oh, here we are. So you can drink the water here. The problem is, is that there's little creepy crawlies in there and you'll get dysentery. So if we, you'll see our water right now. There's lots of watermelon all over the place. So we're just gonna go ahead and consume. You're gonna notice it brings our food and our water up. So we'll go ahead and eat three of those. And then the other thing that is that it gives us a bit of a buff. So it increase, increases our maximum stamina by 50 points and for 500 and for 600 seconds. So basically for 10 minutes. Oh yes, we need more rock, more rock. When you actually pick up the oxide, a lot of times you'll get a rock and an oxide. Let us see. Ah, perfect. Just gonna come up here and take a look around. Yeah. Oh, it's only wins. Right, so talent points. We got two every second, yeah, every even level you get two, odd levels you get one, and we have our first solo talent point. Um, I like to run fast <laughs> when I go places uh, or when I'm running for my life. So we're gonna head and put our ta solo talent point into there. We're gonna come back over here. We're gonna give ourselves some more stamina. And then we're going to get going here. Oops. A little damage there. I think we might have to. Uh, we didn't spend our points, our time checkpoints, so let's go over here. Let's grab a fire. A sleeping bag, a torch, and I think that that's all we really need right now. Let's go to crafting, let's grab a torch. A lot of times people create a torch and they wonder where the hell it went because you'll see it's not here in inventory. It goes directly into, if it can, into your taskbar, and then it's put into there. So if you just come out and hit L, Voila, we have some fire. You'll notice in the middle of the screen there it says storm exposure. Storm exposure will actually slow you right down as well as potentially the damage onto you. So we want to try and find some shelter so that we are not exposed to the storm. I don't have a chance of that so far. A smashing start. There we go. And we got some more rock. So let's go ahead and craft ourselves like um, that is a drag. I'm not sure where that bastard is. But 
I am not going to sit. There he is. You can see his beady little eyes. Oh, he's inside my cave. from these guys. One of the other things that I can teach you is that when you kill something, if you leave it out too long, then you're gonna get like that. Well, son of a gun. <clears throat> Not really our fault. He's just gonna go ahead and lay there on our body now. I shouldn't open my mouth. You'll notice that I said <laughs> how well we were doing and two minutes later we're dead all right i don't like doing this but it also will teach you a valuable lesson um one of the things that i didn't get a chance to do was actually place a sleeping bag down in some shelter and that's how you set your mind for like so i guess what happens is maybe my consciousness gets uploaded into a new body and then they send me down. I guess maybe that's how it works. Now, if you look at your... What in the... There it is right there. So if you look at your menu just to the left of the little red mark as we're heading east, you see cross. That's where your body is. Hopefully that moa is gone. It looks like the storm is gone, so that's good. Oh, I can't believe they just kept on coming like that. I didn't stand. I didn't stand a chance. gun. It looks like some trees blew over too. Man, I don't like dying. Pisses me off. I watched some steamers who play this as well and they die and they're like eh, no biggie but it really 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 crossed my unfortunately when i went up on the rock and i came back down to try and spin those bodies there was no way that i had of healing myself i didn't have any healing potions i didn't have any food I turned the torch off So it is what it is. Let's put some more oxide in there. Let's, uh, we don't need any water. Let's go ahead and create some more arrows. Weight is looking good. Let's go over here. It looks like. Looks like I love it from skinning. So skinning, you actually get pretty decent XP. So it was uh, worth it to get a go. All right, let's get the heck out of here. I don't have time to log all the trees that get blown over. Oh, 
Well, we got a critical, but it wasn't enough to kill him. Come on, stop running. don't run this far. I have no idea what's going on with this guy. Oh, there we go. You'll notice a bit of a stutter when I'm running through there. Um, it doesn't happen a ton. It's only when you go to... It's only when you're going into... Oh, son of a... If I get jumped again while I'm skinning, I'm running. Oops. Let's go ahead and repair all of our stone weapons and repair our bow. still in that. Let's go. Oh, yes. Bacon delivery. Let me make sure I give the delivery driver a big tip. Minds out of the gutter, everybody. Now, let's make sure that we're going the right way. We are. We're going to follow the river down to where it flows out. What time of day is it? Actually, you know what? that what we're going to do is we're going to go to crafting. Let's get rid of all these seeds again. And we're going to make some bandages because I haven't made any of those yet. We're going to go to tech tree. I did make a fire, so that's good. We're going to come all the way down and we're going to learn how to make... So you can have the op opportunity here to make either thatch or wood. Do not bother with the thatch. I've seen so many first-time players go and in, go into that, or first-time streamers go in and put points in the thatch. Um, we get off quite good actually because um, we only have to spend two points. Whereas before, you'll see like this you used to this. You can make six different things with this. You used to have to put a point into every single one of those, so it was a huge. I actually come down right here and it is getting close to 1800 which is when the, the lights go out so we're going to craft two of these four of these and one of these what are we out of not enough wood, right? Ah, son of a gun. I should have. I 
I'm not, it's a target rich environment right now. I'm not gonna kill all this stuff. Simply because we're running out of time for darkness and I don't want to attack anyone. I don't want to die again. <clears throat> All right. Let's go ahead and deploy. Paranoid. <clears throat> well, ladies and gentlemen, um, we've uh, done a lot already in a very, very short period of time. We've got to see me die a horrible and horrific death. So, that's my timer <laughs> telling me it's, oh, let's go ahead and time to wrap things up. Oh, oh, son of a, uh, I heard that thing running, I thought it was another MOA. All right, let's repair up our weapons. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me on my inaugural episode. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Hopefully it wasn't <laughs> overly boring. Um, I'm, um, I've been wanting to do this for a really, really long time. And, and uh, my wife has, uh, yada, yada, yada. But my wife has given me a lot of love and support. And she's really encouraged me, if I want to do it, to go and give it a try. Which is you know, probably the exact opposite of a lot of spouses out there. So I know how lucky I am. Um, really looking forward to entertaining you guys. I love playing games. I love Icarus. Uh, so if uh, if you guys could do me a favor and if you watch this and, and it didn't complete you make, completely make you want to throw up, uh, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, let's smash the reminder bell. Uh, and if you could subscribe, uh, that'd be absolutely fantastic. My goal here is to put out uh, an episode uh, at least every day, um, if not uh, every two days, uh, kind of at the latest. I do play a lot, it's, but I also do work full time and, and uh, have a family life as well. So um, if you don't want to miss anything, go ahead and do that. Thank you very much. And we're going to just get the heck out of here. Take care. Have a great evening.